Got another Patreon-sponsored episode this week, courtesy of supporter Aaron Barbary, who wanted to hear the basics on his favourite character, the bot who puts the con in Decepticon, Swindle. The original Swindle toy transformed into a four-wheel drive combat vehicle. It was designed for the Japanese toy line Diaclone, but Diaclone was cancelled before the toy could come out, so instead it was first released in the Transformers line in 1986. Swindle was a member of the military-themed Decepticon subgroup the Combaticons. The team could combine into the giant robot Bruticus, with Swindle able to become either one of his arms or his legs. A profile for Swindle was written by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, which characterised him as an opportunistic, slick-talking con artist. He could sell or trade anything to anyone, a skill he used in his role as the Combaticon's munitions expert, procuring weapons for the team. Though the most important thing to the greedy Swindle was his own personal gain. Swindle and the Combaticons were introduced into the original Transformers animated series at the tail end of its second season. Long ago on Cybertron, the team had attempted to overthrow Megatron, and as punishment, they had their personality components removed from their bodies. In the present day, seeking to build his own army, the treacherous Starscream recovered the components and implanted them in refurbished World War II vehicles. The reborn Combaticons initially agreed to follow Starscream, but quickly turned on him and set out to conquer Cybertron. They were eventually defeated by the allied forces of the Autobots and the Decepticons, and were reprogrammed to be loyal to Megatron. Now, down through Transformers history, Combiner teams have always tended to appear in stories as units, with individual members rarely standing apart from their teammates. But Swindle's self-serving nature has always made him the major exception. He took the spotlight in the season's final episode, Bot, when all the other Combaticons were blown to scrap in a battle with their Autobot counterparts the Protectobots, and Swindle sold their remains on the black market. The enraged Megatron planted a bomb in Swindle's head to force him to recover the parts and rebuild his teammates. Swindle would also often appear apart from his team in the third season. Notably, he stole the giant Autobot Metroplex's transforming cog, then rather unwisely attempted to bargain with Galvatron for a bigger reward. The continued availability of their toys in 1987 ensured he and the Combaticons appeared right up to the show's final episode, and they also featured in several Japanese original spin-offs and sequels, though none of these series gave Swindle any solo focus. In the Marvel comic book, Swindle and the Combaticons were created on Earth, with supplementary stories published in the United Kingdom explaining that the Decepticons had been inspired to build them by a vision of the future from the Autobot Matrix. Swindle never really got the spotlight in this series, appearing in only a few issues before the discontinuation of the Combaticons' toys in 1988 saw them phased out of the comic. The figures would be re-released, first in 1991 as part of the Classics line in Europe and Australasia, then again in 1993's Generation 2, with Swindle sporting a new purple and red camouflage colour scheme, netting him a brief appearance in Marvel's tie-in comic. At the beginning of the 21st century, Swindle's name entered a period of being reused for multiple new characters, unrelated to the original, as a way for Hasbro to keep their trademark on it active. The first of these new Swindles was featured in 2002's Transformers Armada, a minicon who transformed into a Formula One race car, and who was partnered with Starscream. As seen in the Armada cartoon, this Swindle was one of many Minicons scattered across the Earth in stasis panels, and was found by Starscream in a forest. He enjoyed a brief starring role in the Armada comic book, when Starscream used him to lure the Autobots' human allies into a trap, only for Swindle to suffer an attack of conscience and help the humans escape. Armada's 2005 sequel series, Transformers Cybertron, featured its own Swindle, a June Buggy Decepticon who preferred hand-to-hand -hand fighting to using guns. 
He and his brother Hardtop appeared in a story from the Transformers Collectors Club as part of a Decepticon unit plundering the ruins of the dead Cybertronian colony planet Combatron. There have also been Autobot Swindles as well as Decepticons. In 2004, an Autobot train named Swindle was released in the Transformers Universe line, one of the real bots who combined into Real Racer. And in 2007, the tie-in video game for the first live-action movie used Swindle as the name of a kind of generic mass-produced Transformer that transformed into a sports car based on the Chevrolet Cobalt, of which both Autobot and Decepticon varieties existed. A toy was released of the Decepticon model, characterised with an individual personality as a bot who wasn't a great fighter but loved blowing stuff up. A second swindle was added to the movie universe in the toy line for the 2009 sequel, Revenge of the Fallen. This one turned into a helicopter, but was actually quite similar to the original. He was a con man and a member of the movie version of the Combaticons, who combined into Bruticus Maximus. In and amongst all these alternate versions, new interpretations of the original swindle have also continued to regularly appear in Transformers media. Sometimes he just shows up as a member of the Combaticons, but often, following in the footsteps of the original cartoon, Swindle is out on his own, running a con or cooking up a scheme to acquire wealth and power for himself. His first big solo outing in the 21st century was in 2004's Alternators toy line, in which he got a new toy that transformed into a Jeep Wrangler. When the line was released in Japan, it was accompanied by a story in which Swindle masterminded a plan to unleash a plague of cosmic rust on the Autobots. Swindle returned to television in 2008 in Transformers Animated as an interplanetary arms dealer with a Humvee alternate mode and an endless supply of weaponry and gadgets at his disposal he'd acquired trading across the galaxy. In this series, Swindle conned a group of human supervillains into working for him in order to acquire a fragment of the mystical Allspark that had the power to stop time. He was foiled and captured by the Autobots, but managed to escape while they were taking him back to Cybertron. He released all the other Decepticon prisoners aboard the ship, and while they were keeping the Autobots busy, Swindle looted the vessel and made a clean getaway with a whole new stash of merchandise. In 2012, Swindle featured as a playable character in the Fall of Cybertron video game, with a Cybertronian alt mode, working with his fellow Combaticons to take down an Autobot fuel transport. A toy of this Swindle was released in the Transformers Generations toy line, the first classically styled Swindle figure since the original that could combine with the other Combaticons into Bruticus. A second new combining Swindle figure was released in the Combiner Wars toy line in 2015, inspiring a tie-in storyline in IDW Publishing's comic books. Swindle had been a recurring antagonist in IDW's comics since 2007. He was an interplanetary criminal wanted by Autobot lawman Ultra Magnus for selling Cybertronian technology to alien civilizations. He had briefly smooth-talked his way into the role of leader to a group of Decepticons on Earth, where he had created the Combiner Menasaur and fostered anti-Transformer sentiment among humans in order to profit from the unrest by selling them weapons. In Combiner Wars, Swindle was hired by Starscream to use Menasaur to stage a false flag attack on the planet Caminus as part of a political scheme, after which Starscream shot Swindle to keep him from exposing his involvement. Seeking revenge, the other Combaticons used the mystical Enigma of Combination to merge with Swindle's comatose body, linking their minds so they could pluck the evidence of Starscream's crimes right out of Swindle's brain. Sadly, things didn't go to plan, as Bruticus rampaged out of control and had to be taken down by the Autobots. With many appearances in other toy lines, comics and games over the years, Swindle remains the preeminent example of a Combiner member who's taken on a life and popularity of his own outside his team. 
Most recently, he's been appearing in IDW's new, rebooted series as the proprietor of a gambling establishment on pre-war Cybertron that serves as a legitimate front for his underground dealings, trading black market goods and intel. Continued proof that wherever there's money to be made, a dirty deal to be done, or a sucker to be conned, that's where you will find Swindle. And those are the basics on Swindle. Thanks to Aaron for sponsoring this episode. Share your thoughts on this capitalist combaticon in the comments. For more history and lore from the world of the Transformers, remember to like and subscribe and help support the show on Patreon.